Now just to explain how the pointing antennas fit into this whole LTE picture that I've sketched. Uh, remember the first thing, the antenna needs to meet that uh, frequency spectrum. And virtually all of our antennas have now been redesigned, redeveloped in order to meet that uh, frequency spectrum. In other words, a much wider frequency band that needs to be covered. Remember that even if you put them up for frequencies at the moment, which are not sitting in those new bands, make sure that they do cover it. Because at some point, the technology will change, the operator will switch over, and suddenly you'll lose comms. So even if it's currently not an LTE modem, put up an antenna that actually will cover the range. If you look at the pointing antennas, in other words, almost all of them cover the range. This is the desktop one. Uh, this you can use in the cover the range mode, and you can use in a two antenna mode. So once you get an LTE modem, you should get two little connectors on the LTE modem. And you can put two of these antennas on and space them indoors for about uh, this much apart, 500 millimeters, or you can even put one at 90 degrees. If it's a magnet mount, you can put it on a cupboard. That's even better. Outdoors, you can use these guys. They're still omnidirectional, and I think I've got it the right way around. And these guys here, uh, when they're omnidirectional, you could put two of them about a meter apart if it's outdoors, and you can still get LTE performance, or otherwise, they will cover the frequency band. And the same for its uh, slightly lower cost friend here, the Omni 121. This is the Omni 69. Uh, then if you start going towards high gain, uh, there's the LPDA. This is our LPDA 20. Once again, redesigned. It's got a new version number. And that one covers the full frequency spectrum. And you can mount two of these plus minus 45 degree and the brackets actually being designed uh, to accommodate that. So this can be a single antenna will do the job. And later on, you can just buy another one and you can get a dual antenna that will then give you the full MIMO performance of LTE. The same goes for this guy here, which is our Big Daddy, one of the biggest sellers that we've got, the big um, LPDA-92. This has also been redesigned, mold has been redeveloped to cover all of the bands 700 to 2.7 gigahertz. And we've designed a bracket for it so that you can mount one horizontal, one vertical, if you do finally get a two input LTE modem. And then if you really are immediately going to LTE because these ones are going to give you a redundant extra cable. But this are two antennas built into one enclosure. The first one is the XPO1, which I'll discuss in more detail in a later clip. And this one is a low gain antenna that can be window mount, pole mount, wall mount. And it's actually got two cables coming out, uh, which you can connect to the two ports um, using just one antenna. And then I think a fantastic breakthrough in technology, which is the XPO2. It's actual patch antenna with about ADBI gain, uh, ADBI and a bit higher, and it covers everything from 700 to 2.7, and there's actually two antennas sitting inside there. Not discrete antennas, but two polarizations uh, with two cables coming out, and this guy will then give you high gain over all of the possible frequency bands that you'll encounter in LTE use. Uh, beyond this, we've also got in our pipeline at the moment for development uh, some Indoor antennas, we've got indoor panel antenna we're busy developing, a uh, ceiling antenna that we're busy developing, and some other exciting concepts that will further extend the integrated LTE range of antennas that we offer.